Welcome back to Cover 2, Hawaii High School Football Weekly. The road to the Division I title game continues through Hawaii Island this weekend. For on Friday night, the reigning kings of D1 will begin defense of the program's first and only state title. And they started the same way they started last season, by playing host to MIL champion Maui. Now for the Vikings, they ride the wave of momentum on an eight-game winning streak. And as Rob Colius of the Maui News tells us, Sabres are well aware of the challenge that lies ahead. That's right, Rob. The Sabres feel like they let a great shot get away last year. Monday, coach James Kammerer said simply, we're hoping to give them a good game. These Sabres started the one and done season last week with their come from behind MIL title game win over Baldwin. With the season on the line, they have shortened the roster, pushing several players to extra duty. Seniors Torin Kauhaaha Salusi and Trent Takara are two who rarely come off the field. Takara, who has four interceptions in the last two games, said, This year we know what it feels like to work so hard for something and not get there. Kauhaaha Salusi said, This time we're coming to Hilo for a business trip. Can't wait. Now making a move back to the Idol Open Division where the Final Four will have an extra week of prep time in preparation for next Friday's semifinal game against Kahuku. Now for the two-time reigning champions of St. Louis, more practice time sounds unfair for an offense that has not been held under 30 points this season. And according to senior Chance Beyer, motivation and guidance comes from assistant, former Crusader great Gerald Welch. Coach Gerald, like he was in our shoes one time, you know, so he, he understands everything. Uh, he coaches us well. He tells us, like, um, through his past experience, like, oh, how to run this route, how to set this guy, and uh, just his past experience, you know, and he's a great guy and a great receiver. Competition over here, like, every year is just greater and greater. Everybody wants to be better than last year. And as for the other side of the open division bracket, the OIA champs of Mililani will look to earn its first ticket to Hawaii's top division title game since winning it all in 2014. But looking to ruin those plans will be a Campbell squad that has already survived life on the edge, beating Farrington last week behind the arm of a freshman quarterback. But as Ren Clayton tells us in 4 Life, a veteran presence helped make that magic possible. 